Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Wait, I'm supposed to start this thing with my amazing musical choices. I got to put something on real quick. If you're watching, comment hello. Okay, I think I know what I, song I'm going to put on. Just one sec. Mm, okay, got it. Do you guys know this song? If you're watching with me, would you throw a hello in the comments? Today, we're starting a new series called Badass Confidence Bombs because we all need it. We all need a little more confidence in our lives. So, chill with me until we all hop on. And if you're here, comment hello. Hi, Matthew. What is up? If you're watching with us, let me know. What did your last What did your last fortune cookie say? That's what I want to know. What did your last fortune cookie say? So put throw that in the comments. And I'm going to start this series called Oh Jane, I love the crap out of you. Jane, you're amazing. If you're watching with us, please let me know. I see so many peeps on, but like I don't exactly know who's watching with us. Throw a hello. Cam Nadine, what is up? What is up? That's awesome. What's the last thing you got in a fortune cookie? I really want to know. So today you might notice that I'm working some very weird braids. When your hair is a, a hot mess, you don't braid that shit up. Okay, friends. I'm going to drop this song. But first. No, no, no. Do I know the lyrics? No. Do I ever know the lyrics? No. Okay. Friends, I'm so freaking happy to talk to you guys today. Um, please pardon my, oh shit, my hair looks like crap hair today. Um, I want to start this series. I want to start this series because ridiculously talented people do not have the confidence to put themselves out there, and they should because the world wants to taste your amazing gifts. I thought I'd start this series, and if you are with us, Anna, what is up? If you are with us, could you please let us know if this is your first ever Paloma broadcast that you are watching, would you comment a one in the comments so I know it's your first ever Paloma broadcast? If you're a Paloma broadcast regular, could you throw a two in the comments? That would be great. So first ever Paloma broadcaster, one, I always watch every single Facebook Live comment, too, so I can love you back. Thank you. Okay, this is what I want to tell you today, okay? This is your badass confidence bomb of the day, and we're going to be doing these for the next while because I love you. Gisela says three. That means that she, you know, watches everything all day, every day. Gisela, I love you. So, friends, here's your badass confidence bomb of the day. Guess what? It is anyone's game in this crazy online world, okay? So I've been working for myself since I was 19 or 20 years old. Kim, what's up? I've been working for myself since I was 19 or 20 years old. And you know the amazing thing that I've learned is it is anyone's game. I spent today, and I feel so grateful. I feel so happy and so blessed. Nadine, you're a two. That's awesome. I feel so happy and I feel so blessed because of the fact that I spent all day today working with clients that I love. Um, I started out with, she knows who she is. I love you, darling. The one that I had in the morning, I love you. Um, and then I worked with other clients today, and I just feel super, super grateful. And, and as I was talking to these clients, one thing that I realized is kind of remarkable is I'm a pretty unlikely candidate. Let us know if you're an unlikely candidate to be making your own work. But I, you guys know my story that it was really hard for me to learn how to read. I was just this ADD kid growing up, whatever. Um, lots of things that I struggled with. Like before I ended up getting my master's in English, I had like C's and D's in school when I was a little kid, probably because of focus and concentration stuff. Um, and even perhaps because of confidence, I don't know. Um, but the amazing thing is when I look back at my journey and I look at the journeys of people who've done it before us, you see, when I say it's anyone's game, I mean, listen, if you are watching this right now and you feel like, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can build something for myself. I don't know if I can make my own work. I don't know if I can get my first client. I don't know if I can start a Facebook group. I don't know if I have much to offer. This is me, Paloma Lev, telling you that it is so fucking, so fucking possible. Thank you so much, Max. Hey, did you, thank you, Max. I, I, 
I was really having one of those days and like, forgive me, please. Um, anyways, it is so anybody's game. So um, I just posted, I think today or yesterday, this Lisa Nichols interview. Um, if you haven't seen it, comment, send it to me in the comments. I will send this, I'll private message this to you personally. Um, really powerful interview where Lisa Nichols talks about where she was and where she ended up and how she got to the point that she was able to command so much for, you know, for, the, for speaking and all the different kinds of work that she does. But she tells a story of, she's like, I literally had $11.50 in my account. And then she started as she, as she like, you know, gained new work opportunities, she started writing herself checks and she wrote on those checks, that's for their freedom fund. Hi, Brandon. Oh, I'm happy you're with us. She started writing on her checks, freedom fund, freedom. This is to fund my dreams. This is to fund my dreams. And she used to spend a lot of her money on getting her nails done, getting her hair done. Um, and what she started doing was she started writing herself checks. And she said, I'm going to take 5% of my income and it goes right to me. It goes into a separate bank account to build and fund my dreams. She tells the story and it's really powerful. I would be so happy to send this to you. I, I um, someone private messaged me that they watched this and that she cried. She was so moved by it. So I'm happy to send it. Actually, two people I sent it to said that to me. Um, she tells the story of, so she makes this freedom fund for herself. And she said that her, you know, she grew up with these kind of messed up ideas of money, that uh, money was a bad thing and it was always going and it was hard to hold on to all those things. So she builds this freedom fund and she's, I never checked out the balance in the account. One day she got curious. She's like, I wonder how much I have there. So it's after three years of saving for herself. And they, they, she says, like, they slid me the number across the table. I looked at it and she's like, no, 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 you must have a different Lisa Nichols. Like, um, and she told them their middle name. She's like, they're like, no, this is your account. And she had over $63,000. She said, I didn't know one person in my life who had over 5,000 bucks. She's like, I didn't know one person who had over 5,000 bucks in their account. And here I am having over $63,000 of savings. She looked down at her baby and she said, I think we're going to be all right. Um, Brandon says, it's all about mindset. That is really the only hurdle that any of us has on our journeys. Yes. I've heard of other people doing the same concept to build their businesses. I think I'll start having, yeah, that's awesome, Brandon. You know, like we always say like pay ourselves first. It really makes sense. It makes sense that, you know, um, it's funny. We like slave away at like a job job. We like, you, we do so much for other people and yet it's almost intolerable to do that same shit for ourselves. The truth is I've seen it time and time again. I've seen it time and time again that we step into and we build and we make our own authority. Now, there's some like old school views of authority that it's like passed down, that you have to have a degree from a university, that you have to have some stamp of approval, that you have to be knighted, blah, blah, blah. No. You watching are an expert in something and somebody badly needs the exact thing you have, not just the exact thing that you have, Thank you for all the love. They not, not only need the exact thing that you have, but they want it in the exact way that you teach it, right? There are lots of different people who teach the same stuff. Lots of people who teach how to do Facebook Lives. Lots of people who teach how to do, I don't know, whatever the heck. Give me something. Give me some example. Lots of people who do, like, spiritual healing. Lots of people who do yoga. But um, somebody wants to learn in your style, in your flavor, in your, you know, the way that you talk, the way you express yourself. They like your analogies. They like your story. They like your style. They like your process. They like who you are. And that's why they hold on to you. Um, so just know, and I'm going to give you a couple stories. So there's the Lisa Nichols one. I was a teaching assistant at the University of Toronto. What's up, Jason? Thanks for watching. So I was a teaching assistant at the University of Toronto in the field of English and effective writing, okay? Um, I had this one kind of funny thing that happened once that I was invigilating a final exam, right? So I'm giving out the final exam booklets. It's this huge, like, exam hall. This one kid named Ryan raises his hand and says, Paloma, do we have to wait till everyone has an exam to turn them over and start? I looked him dead in the eye and I was like, Ryan, you do you. And he sort of, like, laughed. But the truth was, at the end of the day, I didn't want people to come into this university believing that this was the word of God, that, you know, if you make your way through university and all you've learned is how to be obedient, you probably haven't learned the best, most valuable lessons, okay? Um, at the end of the day, this whole process, this whole entrepreneurial pursuit kind of thing, 
Our goal in all of this is not to uh, have the shit we want to have. It's to become the people we want to become. And the awesome thing is the thing that entrepreneurship affords us is the ability to become who we want to be through helping the people that we want to help. What a magical thing that is. So I just wanted to say to you guys, like, I can tell you example after example because I have been in these authority positions. I've been a teaching assistant that students really look up to. I have been a coach that my clients really look up to. I remember saying to one of my clients once, and he was really moved by this, darling, you, you have just as much authority as me. And he's like, what, really? I'm like, you have as much authority as me. You step into your authority. Authority is a construction. And people will follow you if you believe that you're worth following. People will believe you if you believe yourself. I believe myself. I genuinely have a confident conviction that I can and will help you because I have helped a shitload of clients and I love them. And I am so grateful that I get private messages from them all the time saying that they're I had a message from Gisela yesterday, one of my awesome, awesome clients. She messaged me, she's like, Paloma, guess what? I did some brave stuff today. How beautiful is that, friends, that we're in a community that we're like, we can do brave shit together and inspire each other? Like, authority is crap alone We were talking, we did this entrepreneur party. We do a lot of entrepreneur parties, but we did this one entrepreneur party, and um, this awesome young kid, Marcos, hops on, and he is... We started this hilarious hashtag mentor Marcos and thank you all in the group who ever gave some great advice to him. But he is entering college and he's an 18 year old student and he, you know, he's making important decisions about what he's going to do with his life. And we were just saying to him, listen, hi, and Jerry, what's up, darling? Um, and Jerry knows the mentor Marcos hashtag. Um, and we were just saying to him, like, it is School is a business, by the way. School is a capitally driven kind of thing, by the way. Um, authority is a construction. I remember saying to one of my professors, and maybe this takes a lot of like chutzpah that I did it, but I don't give a rat's ass. It was literally like in this class that we were talking about, um, we were talking about different like authority roles in society. I said to this professor who must have been in his like early 60s, I said, with all due respect, the reason that you get to sit, stand in front of us is because we're willing to sit down in front of you, that your role of authority depends on our permission, you know, our, us playing along with the role. You're playing professor role, so we play student role, right? The amazing thing that happens when it comes to authority is other people just mirror you. This is all social scripts. If you say that you are an authority, other people say, wow, that person's an authority, okay? And, you know, one amazing thing that Lisa Nichols says in this interview, and please, darling, I am so happy to send it to you because it's really moving. She says a lot of people want to put me on a pedestal and say, oh, you're so amazing. How did you do it? And she says, when you say that I'm this big fancy pants authority, then you're letting yourself off the hook. You're saying, I'm different than you. I don't have the same advantages as you. I can't do this. Well, guess what? Yes, absolutely. There are, there are you know, people in the world who have had, you know, distinct disadvantages and not in any way to take away from that. But the truth is, it is anyone's game. This entrepreneur game is for anyone to take. And let me know in the comments, do you agree with me that it's anyone's game? Do you agree with me? Is it anyone's game? I strongly believe this. Um, let me tell you the story about my amazing friend, Johnny West. If you know Johnny West, um, Johnny is an awesome entrepreneur online, okay? And, um, and one thing that, that he talks about is his story of how he started off as a dishwasher, okay? Or a cleaner or something like that. Um, and now making over 20K a month, right? within not a long period of time. And by the way, that's not what it's about. It's not about, oh, you did this in a short period of time. It's about look at where you can start and look at where you can go. Perhaps in our parents' generation, this shit wasn't possible, but in our generation, this is so possible. And it's not so much about the tactics. Everyone, friends, I say this with so much love. I say this with so much love. The tactics exist. Oh my God, my fucking hair. The tactics exist, okay? The tactics exist. Google, stock Arnie Giske, stock Bobby Donahue. Look at what Landon Porter is doing. Look at what I am doing. Look at what other leaders are doing, okay? That is out there. But you don't need more tactics. What you need is state. State that you are in a place of abundance. You are in a place of, I know for certain blank for me. I know for certain that anyone who has the privilege of working with me becomes a better person. 
does the vulnerable work in a safe space, becomes a more confident person, becomes a person who is aligned with themselves, who believes themselves, who trusts their impulses, who doesn't undersell themselves. That is the benefit of working with me, okay? And you're not going to get that with other people, and I believe that. I know that. I know that, right? And so what do you know? Please tell us in the comments, what do you know to be true about yourself? Hold that and don't be scared of that. Don't be scared of your impulses. Don't be scared of your instincts. You can be an authority, but first, my darling, first you have to be an authority over yourself. First you have to influence yourself. You've got to learn a shit ton, okay? You have to help people. Part of these Zoom entrepreneur parties is because I heard again and again and again, people said, I feel lonely, I feel isolated, I don't have the support I need, my family doesn't get it, nobody believes in my dream, and I said, wonderful. I'm gonna put you around other entrepreneurs who not just believe in your dream, wanna help you, but they'll extend it, they'll give you tactics, they will connect you, that's why I do these Zoom parties. And my first ever Zoom party, I was like, oh, I'll do it in an hour for now, hope, hope people show up, okay? We've done six entrepreneur Zoom parties so far, I believe, five or six. Um, all fully packed, they've been incredible. Um, last Saturday, uh, this Saturday actually, we have t over 20 people who signed up for this one. I had to cut it off because it's getting so big. And then I put one on the following Saturday on the 16th because I want to connect people to people. So I have a lot of love for you guys because I know what it's like to suffer. I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like to feel stuck. I know what it's like to feel trapped. I know what it's like to undersell yourself and, uh, and not give all of your gifts to the world. I know what that's like. Because I know that that's like, I don't want you to suffer like that. And so when you come from a place of, you know what authority is? I care about you well. I do a good job of caring about you. And I really genuinely do. When you genuinely care about people, they will feel it. And they will give you permission. All of this is permission-based. They will give you permission to lead them, okay? This is not some kind of like tyrannical, like you must listen in the same way as we have those experiences of authority through our I'm sure, you know, father figures through universities, through the old way of authority. The way authority works now is it's earned. You give me permission to talk to you, okay? It's all permission-based, and if you don't like it, sayonara, you can leave at any moment, okay? Authority is earned. Step into your authority and realize how powerful you are. If you knew, darling, how powerful you are, it would like freaking burn your eyes off. You are so powerful. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to be the smartest person in the world. You will not be. I'm not the smartest person in the world. You're not the smartest person in the world. I'm pretty fucking smart. You're pretty fucking smart. But we don't have to be the be all, end all. We have to believe in something passionately. We need to offer other people our conviction. We need to offer other people our vision for them. And we need to help them along the journey to that vision. Hi, Victoria. What is up? It is anyone's game. I've had enough experience where I've looked under the hood and I've seen oh wow, my fellow teaching assistants, when they're assigning their A, B, C grade, are like drunk at the bars with their friends, and we take these grades and these things passed on, did I get a promotion, this, that. I've seen the process, I've worked with a middle manager at a well-known company, and seeing the hiring process, like seeing the, the under the hood of all of this authority and seeing what a crapshoot it is, to be 100% honest, like to see how arbitrary it is, to see who gets awards, to see who gets A's, to see who gets scholarships, friends, it is anyone's game. Do not count yourself out the running, okay? I don't care if you don't have a lot of money right now. I don't care if you're in the negatives right now. I don't care if you're scared right now. You can do it. You can make beautiful things in this world. I've seen it. I've helped my clients do it. I've done it for myself. I was just an ADD kid who couldn't read. Um, my, my friends in the entrepreneurial game, nobody had a silver spoon in their mouths. They made it. Authority is a thing that you make. So friends, if you are ready to make your own authority, let us know in the comments what you are an authority in. Tell us what you're an expert in. Um, and don't be scared to let people know who you are. Don't be a secret agent about it, right? I was working with a client earlier today and I said to her, are you referable? It is my pleasure, my pleasure to refer people to people that I think are gonna serve them well, right? If you don't know who you are, and if you don't know what your give is, and if you don't know what you offer, it's pretty freaking hard Hi, Melanie. What's up, darling? If you don't know who you are, it's pretty freaking hard for people to refer people to you, right? So if I know that you are the Google AdWords guy, if I know that you're the Facebook Live chick, if I know that you are the design lady, you know, then I can refer people to you, right? And then other people can refer people to you. Ask yourself, am I referable? The way you make yourself referable is you position yourself very narrowly. I am specifically 
the badass confidence chick, okay? If you want to communicate with badass confidence and sell yourself like a gangster, you come to Paloma, okay? And you know that. But have you branded yourself as one thing and have you stepped into your authority, okay? Because in your discovery calls, okay, in your communication online, in your Facebook lives, you must be the confident leader of process. And I say this a million times a day, C-L-O-P, be the confident leader of process. Trust me, when you step up as the confident leader of process, people will trust you. People will trust you because you trust yourself. This does not mean you have to have all the answers. It means that you are going to confidently help them figure it out in a systematized structure that you have built. Okay? That's what it means. So you don't have to have all the answers. But you can say, listen, um, you build a collaborative vision. This is what I want for you. Do you want that for yourself? Yes. What else do you want? Okay, build that vision together. If you need an assignment for this, write a love letter to your ideal client. Okay? Write a love letter. And please use this phrase, what I want for you is blank. What I would hate for you is blank. Um, you know, a, a lovely client that I adore, Gisela, she knows that I use this so often. And it's not, it, it comes from the most genuine place of, baby girl, this is what I want for you. I don't want you to struggle. I want this. I want this. I want this. Do you want that for yourself? Yes. Okay, well, here's the path. Here's, here's what I'm going to lay out. And there's some stuff we don't know. Because part of this is we're going to walk into a dark cave together, but we're going to figure it out together, okay? And I know some stuff because I've been through this path again and again, this transformation again and again with people. So um, anything else that I want to tell you? Remember once in calculus class, we had a supply teacher, and uh, I remember asking him. It was kind of funny. Like I could tell he was kind of cool, so I was like, oh, you're cool. I'm cool. I'm going to ask you a question. I was like, seriously, what's the purpose of learning calculus? And you know what he said to me? He's like, Paloma. We're all just trying to overcome basic human boredom. And I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Like, he didn't say, like, because you'll need this one day when your car breaks down and you need some trigonometry to figure out how to do whatever. Hi, Diego. What is up, my friend? Um, he didn't say, he didn't say, like, oh, because you need to learn calculus. He was just like, we're trying to overcome basic human boredom. And I thought that was hilarious. Like, you'll see again and again, the more you make friends with entrepreneurs, the more you realize that this whole world is constructed, everything is constructed, authority is fake. It just happens to be people who believe in themselves that other people believe in. You don't have to look much farther than the U.S. government system right now. I'm not going to, like, say anything more about that, but it just goes to show what belief in yourself can do for better or for worse, right? Um, please use these powers for good, not evil. Please do good. Please help other people. Please be generous. Please be honest. Please be kind. Please free yourself and other people. But at the end of the day, you know what this is about? This is about, this is about spreading your goodness. Like there's so much good shit to share and you can be an authority. I don't care if there's someone who knows more than you. Someone knows more than everyone about everything. Expertise is relative, friends. Like, I got a computer. I got a laptop for the first time in my master's. I think it was my either my first or my second year of my master's that I slipped, I fell, I broke my knee, and I couldn't do, like, I, I couldn't go to the library anymore. I really had a laptop for the first time. I was like, ooh, this internet thing is pretty cool, right? Um, I, I've been working. Hi, Ryan. What's up? I've been working for myself for a really long time, but I didn't always have, like, computer access, really. Like, my mom was old school. She was, like, use encyclopedias. I'm like, ah, books? It's not fair. Um, but the amazing thing is I developed a strong sense of who I am. I developed a lot of talents. Um, and I realized how constructed everything is. Like, you know, in school we studied gender, gender as a construction, race as a construction, so many things that are, like, driven by capitalism and, you know, happiness as vacation is neoliberalist crap that's shoved down your throat. Like everything that you, you go to a Starbucks and you say, oh, a latte is $4. Like that's bullshit aroni too. Like, you know, there were people who made a trade. They said, this is what the trade is. You come in and you do this and we're going to do this. That's what it is. Negotiation is building trades. And you, you who's watching right now can build trades. You can make moves. You don't have to be on the defensive receiving the world. You can make the world. You can design the world. You can build collaborations. You can build deals. So friends, um, you are an authority. It is anyone's game. If you have any kind of disadvantage, a kind of disability, if you have 
anything that you're pushed to the side, marginalized, you are even stronger. You are even stronger for that. And your gifts really do cluster around your trauma. So be grateful for the hard shit that's thrown at you. You step on a cockroach, becomes a rat. You step on a rat, it becomes even stronger, okay? Um, I love you. If I can support you in your journey, I help people with this transformation. The truth is, there's two kinds of work we do in our lives. Let me know, friends. You know this. There's blank kind of work and blank kind of work. Some peeps who've been following me for a while. What two kinds of work do we have in our lives and which one is preferable? Do not do busy work to avoid vulnerable work. That is my belief to the core, and my clients know that. Victoria, I am so happy to hear this. She said, I needed this today, making some shifts in my business right now. Darling, that makes me so happy. Anna, thank you for the love. It really means a lot. Um, do not do the busy work. I know it is so, like, it's just tempting, honestly, because a lot of this is hard, and it's painful, and it's okay for us to talk about that. I was talking to a client about that earlier today. This shit is painful. This shit is hard. This shit is stretching ourselves. It feels like being an entrepreneur is like standing on one of those like um, shaky ball things at the gym, you know, like when you're trying to like build up your muscles, your muscles shake. If your muscles are shaking, great. You're doing the work, you're doing the real work. You're doing the important work. If going on a Facebook live scares the crap out of you. Then do that. Making a call to a past client scares the crap out of you. Then do that. The vulnerable work moves the dial and the magic of people that have worked with me is in particular is that I help people to feel safe to do the vulnerable work with them so they can step into their badassery so that they can be the most confident version of themselves. The really awesome thing is when you see people that you've led become leaders in their own right. Gisela is doing that right now. She's a leader in her own right. Um, so many of my amazing clients are leaders in their own right now because they are safe in themselves. And that's what I want for you more than anything. More than anything, I want you to feel safe in yourself. When you feel safe in yourself, other people will say, feel safe with you. People say to me really quick, oh, I opened up to you so fast. Oh, you get me. Yeah, because I feel safe in myself, and I'm not scared of you, and I love myself so I can love you too. Anyways, friends, um, I wasn't going to do this today because I had a full last day uh, working with people that I love, and I was tired. But I just wanted to step on. I want to do these badass confidence bombs. If you have an idea of one you want to do, let me know and we'll see. Um, hi, Marcos. What is up? Marcos in the house. Marcos, you're amazing. Um, so, friends, I love you all. If you want to go on this journey, every month I take on a select few number of one-on-one -on -one clients. Now, the reason that I don't work with as many as I did before is because, honestly, it's not the best way to leverage my time. So I have the Sell Yourself Kit, which is not available right now. The peeps who got in on the birthday sale got in on it. Love you all. We're having some parties coming up for those peeps. Um, it reopens January 1st, but right now, um, sorry, you can't get it right now. Uh, doors are closed. And Jerry, thank you. I fucking love you. You know that I love you. I love you. And Jerry's cool as fuck. Hang out with Jerry if you can, if she gives you that honor. Um, yes, yeah, so my one-on-one -on -one clients know that. Thank you for all the love. Oh, that's so sweet. My one-on-one -on -one clients know that I don't ever half-ass it. That's why I'm pretty selective with who I ended up working with because I need to like you a lot. And you guys know my pre-qualifying criteria. Thank you, and Jerry. She says get the kit. Uh, I happen to agree. Thank you, darling. That means a lot. Um, she's with us, and she's brilliant and awesome. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. Um, here are my criteria. If you want to work with me, please with love, don't private message me unless you actually fit these criteria because I have a select number of spots every month. And I just want to work with people that I really genuinely feel like we are in alignment and that we get each other and we vibe and there's chemistry and this, none of this should feel like torture. I have to say this. None of this should feel like torture. Like we don't have to do this. My dear friend, Amanda says, it's not that I've got to do this. I get to do this. And I feel like that about my entrepreneurial endeavors. And I hope you peeps feel like that too. It's not like I've got to, you know, I've got to whatever you get to. And I feel like it's such a privilege. So I only work with people who are one open to my process two respectful, three reliable, no flaky pants. Flaky is for pie. Um, what else? Respectful, reliable, open to my process, excited to, not just ready to invest in yourself, excited to invest in yourself. Because when you invest in yourself, what it means is you're not saying yes to me. Darling, I've already said yes to me. I already love and like myself. Uh, this is you saying yes to yourself. 
And so you need to be respectful, reliable, excited to invest in yourself, open to my process, add a bonus if you laugh at my jokes, I'll love you even more. Um, yes, so you know how to do that. You private message me. You either let me know. You can get on the wait list for the kit. You can't get it until January 1st because doors are closed. Um, but January 1st we reopen. Um, and if you want to go on this journey of confident communication, of stepping into your badassery, I have learned this like an art. I have read a shitload of books on the subject. My mama has mentored me. She's an incredible marketing coach. I've had the wonderful privilege of growing up in her universe and learning from her and the conferences she goes to and everything that we talk about. Like our conversations are not regular, like mom dot, like, oh, I went on this date with this boy. Instead, it's like, did you read this? And I'm like, yeah, did you read this? Um, so yeah, I love this stuff. I love marketing. I love branding. I love positioning. Um, I love negotiation. I love persuasion. Um, I love confident communication because it opens all doors. You don't have to be the smartest. You don't have to be the richest. You don't have to have all the silver spoons and the silver forks and the silver knives in your mouth. You don't need to have any silverware in your mouth, really. Uh, you just have to be a person who's ready to, or not ready, but still brave enough that you're going to kick your own butt and say, I'm going to push myself in and get started. Um, so if I can support you in any way, it would be my pleasure. I love you with all my heart. Yesterday I said on my Facebook Live I, was, I might go to the gym. Well, you can clap for me, friends. I would really love a round of applause because I did end up going to the gym yesterday. And I ended up running into my lovely friend Shelly who drove me home, and that was nice. I told her if she keeps driving me home, I'll, I'll keep bringing her apples for after the gym. So will I go to the gym today? I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. It's pretty cold out, so who knows if I want to leave my house. But anyways, friends, I love you with all my heart. I genuinely am so grateful for this community. I'm so grateful that you're hanging out with me right now. Um, if you know anyone else who needs to be in the Badass Communicators Club, absolutely invite them to join us. Otherwise, thank you for hanging out, and I'll see you on our next Badass Confidence Bomb. Bye, guys.